Um, you know, that, that second half, you guys were in the game, you know, rebounding was close in the first half, and then they, they kind of put it on there in the, in the second half in terms of the rebounding. What was the difference? Was it just what they were doing, or was there any difference with the, with the game, way the game was played? You know, I think they just got more aggressive, um, you know, got a little more physical. We were worried about their physicality to begin with, and, you know, the, they just they just came out and got after it. Coach got on them a couple times about doing it, and they did it. And and uh, you know we, I, I thought we still battled on the boards. I know you know a lot of numbers on the boards are deceptive. You can you can look at a lot of different things. Sometimes there there's just things that happen. You go back over film and go, oh that that one that one just happened. But for the most part, I I thought we battled. Uh, like you said, their size is huge. They're they're athletic. Uh, you know. Um, I thought we, I thought we, fought, we scrapped, uh, and you know, I think, I think we got tired. Uh, they're a little bit deeper than us, uh, a little more experienced, and I think that that kind of showed up. Too. I was going to ask you, Joe. Do you think the lack of bench production hurt you? Yeah. A lot today? Yeah, I think the lack of bench. I think the lack of David. I'm going to go one step further. You know, and I was just talking to my staff. So I look down. I look down through our through our roster. And, you know, let, let, let's face it, you know, Colorado just dismantled Wisconsin the other night, okay? So they're a good team. They're, 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 they're a good team. They're, 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 they're a Power 5 or a Pac-12 team. They're, they're, they're big. They're, they're talented. They're quick. And uh, as I told my staff, I'm, we got in some foul trouble, and then I'm hoping that uh, a freshman <laughs> who probably hadn't even started basketball yet at this time last year will probably – Probably would start up, you know, their season on Monday is going to come in and give us a lift. Two freshmen, actually, in Jaden and McKinley. And then I thought Tommy, I thought Tommy battled. I thought Tommy gave us everything that Tommy had. Um, I'm really pl proud of her, you know, so then I'm relying on another sophomore who I think played in seven games last year. But she battled, she battled tooth and nail with those guys. And, you know, right now, I, I, my opinion, and I'm looking through the stats. I got two concerning things that we that we got to take care of, and one is the number of fouls we're committing. Now I, I can take away and go, okay, at the end we were fouling some and we gave up some. Uh, we didn't foul the right people, but we were fouling. At least we're playing hard and trying to do something. But uh, you know, it was the same thing with Denver. We we gave up too many free throws. We got outscored at the free throw line by too great of a margin on both those games. And in the past, that never happened to us. And once again, I just, you know, I think it's, it's sometimes uh, not understanding, um, not having enough experience to understand that's a hard shot. I just need to let them shoot that. And then we see what happens. Instead of fouling them, uh, putting, us, putting us in foul trouble, or they end up, like I said, um, you know, we we lose by ten, and tonight we're at, we're at a six point we're at a six point differ, differential from the free throw line. But more, like I said, more disconcertingly, they had twenty nine attempts. Uh, we got to get that down. So we we got to get that taken care of. And I think, I think, uh, for the most part, take away the free throws again at the end. We played well enough defensively in the last two games to do what we do to keep ourselves in the game. We got to find a way to score. And, and that's, we've had good looks. We had good looks at Denver. We had good looks tonight. And everybody goes, well, what's the difference? You know, the difference was at St. Mary's, we had the same looks, they dropped. Tonight, we had the same looks, they didn't drop. And, you know, when you don't make those shots, um, it, it just gives the other team a chance to take a, a sigh of relief and go, we've got one more possession. If you make those shots, it puts a little bit more pressure on them, especially especially the team that's on the road. And so, you know, we, we'll, we'll go back. We've got to look at some things, and obviously there's some things we've got to address and adjust, and we move on. It, it, is it too, too much hands? Is it not moving your feet with, with your defense, Gerald? You know, I think, I think, that, I think that we – I'm going to go back and look, and I, just off the top of my head without looking at film, I'm going to say I can think of – at least four, maybe five times where we want to try to block a shot, and that's not who we are. That's you know that's 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 a lack of just understanding, you know who we are and what we're trying to do. Because a lot of times in our game, 
we always talk about the mid-range game or the pull-up game is what players lack. And so why are we going to bail them out when uh, I can remember one. One I remember we went to try to, we raised up to block a shot and the kid's underneath the basket. Hey, you just stay down, you, st you stay right here, and if she can come up somehow from underneath the basket and around, that's just a good shot. But instead we foul her, so now it's two, two free throws and it gives them a chance to, to score unearned, if you want to say. So, yeah. All that being said, it was a five-point game with a minute left, so there's got to be some – Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, we're, I'm, I'm. You know what? Everybody, everybody goes. It's. Geez, you guys lost. You lost two in a row. Hey, it's not the end of the world. I mean, guys, we're young. I mean, we're we're we're, we're young. So I, I, what I told them at, at the mid court or to half court at the end of the game. This is a great experience for us because the team we just played is, a, is that's a conference opponent. That's a Boise State size. That's a UNLV size. That's San Diego State size. This year, that's Nevada size. That's the kind of team we're going to see in the future. So you know what? You battled. We just got to clean up some things. And if you clean up some things and you figure it out, we're right there. So I agree with you. We're, we, we, my, my, my issue today is, has nothing to do with the intensity level that we played with, what we brought, because we played our hearts out. We played as hard as we could play. We just got to cut down the fouls. And we got to take advantage of, of I, I'm going to call it a few more opportune scoring opportunities, I guess. That, you know, open shots, post play things, some things like that. We're going to be outsized all year. I mean, I mean let's face it, I, I, I told my staff. So we're out there, we're out there with Alba Sanchez playing her heart out. And let's face it, she's not a four. She's playing a four. She's battling that kid for everything, everything that kid's worth, and she got exhausted, okay? That's all I can ask. Now, you guys are right. I got to find somebody now off the bench that wants to step up and go, I want some of those minutes. But you, you, you got to earn those minutes. You got to prove that you want to earn those minutes. And I think that will come. I think that, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm not happy with the result. I'm happy with the effort. Is this now a good break? I mean, you've played four in a week and a half here, Joe, and then you don't play till next Saturday. So does this give you a chance to work on some things? Yeah, we'll take. We'll, we'll, we're going to do. Um, you know, because of because of the upcoming schedule for our facility, uh, we are going to have a, just a really really short practice tomorrow. It'll be mostly film review. It'll be some shooting. We got to put in a couple of things because of what South Dakota State, and North Dakota State will do. It'll be a walkthrough. Tuesday, you're right, we got, we're going to take Tuesday off, which is our off day. Wednesday will be a heavy load day because we have to prepare because then Thursday we're stuck in that travel issue. We, got, we, we have a travel issue because of the flight. Leave so early Friday morning that we will leave, we'll have to leave here Thursday night, so that won't be a long practice. So, you know, our practices have to be concise. They have to be, they have to be, uh, there has to be a focus by our players to figure out what we're doing. And you've been around, David, you, you've, you've been around all the sports at all levels for a long time. One of the things we keep hitting home on and one of the things now that we got to get taken care of is we got to progress from the drill and keep getting less and less slippage to the action. And that goes everything from understanding a scout who's supposed to be on the backside, who's going to do whatever, so that we move from the drill to do it so that it becomes just a habit in practice or what, you know, just other things that can be. And, you know, we're getting better at it. And, uh, you know, uh, let's face it, I know everybody was excited about the St. Mary's win. I was excited about the St. Mary's win. Uh, I didn't think we would go undefeated. Um, and, you know, as long as we're playing hard and we're trying to improve, uh, I think we'll. I think we'll be where we need to be, at the end. How pleased were you with your zone defense? I was really pleased. Um, I told you guys all year. You guys are probably shocked. That's probably more zone than you've seen in <laughs> 16 previous years. We've been working on it some. Um, we had to wait for the right lineups for them. You know, we. You know, the scout tells you who's shooters, who's not shooters, how many we're in, and we got by with it a couple of times. And I, I thought what was good by our, by our, uh, both our staff and our, uh, 
our players, they recognize that part of it. Um, and once again, in, in the zone, we were able not to have to stay in it long enough that they could get into their zone sets. So we were able to mix some things up, kind of keep them off guard, because they have about six or seven sets out of their zone that when you watch them, they really, really execute it. And so by us being able to switch it up a little bit back and forth, uh, I, I thought that helped our zone because they, had to re they always had to pull back out, see what we're in, and then by the time the shot clock's down a little bit, they don't have time to get into that set. But I was really, I'm really pleased with our zone, and that's something we'll, we'll keep working on, and, and um, you know, hopefully it will be used more and more and more.